Peter Murgatroyd is opening up about her in vitro fertilization journey. Oh, I've had a morning. I have had a morning. This is the first time in this whole IVF thing where I've like struggled a little bit. On Sunday, the professional dancer posted an emotional video to her Instagram stories, sharing with her followers that it's the hardest at the end of the journey, as she has started progesterone injections in preparation of transferring an embryo. However, when she received the injections, she became overwhelmed with the size of the needle. I'm like, holy crap, like, my God. Like, I got one here just to show you guys. Um, it's like, it's really big, um, and I and I forgot, I forgot um, what intramuscular meant, and I remember the nurse saying to me, "Oh, maybe you want to get you know your husband to do these ones for you," and I was like, "No, I'm I'm fine. Like I've been doing all the other needles. Like I'm totally fine." And then when I got up this morning and I saw this in the package, I was like, "Oh my god." Pito went on to explain that since the shot is injected to the upper part of her butt, it's hard for her to turn around to inject it herself. To bend my back around to get like, you know, the meatiest part of the butt is like <laughs> challenging. Um, and then of course the whole needle needs to go in. You can't just put half, so sorry. PETA also shared that her other medications have increased, including her estrogen. She's also taken aspirin and antibiotics, but through the emotional journey, she's trying to stay positive and focused. I just kept telling myself, like, PETA, get it in, be grateful, move on with your day, stop crying. People do this four or five times over. You know, I was literally thinking, of all the women who have done this multiple times, I'm like, stop being a freaking baby, move on. PETA later shared another video explaining that she is hormoned up and that she will be doing these injections for a while. She also shared a picture of herself with her and husband Max Shmerkovsky's son, Shai, where she called Shai my everything, adding that she can't wait to give him a baby brother or sister. PETA revealed her and Max's IVF journey in June after sharing with people weeks prior that they had suffered three miscarriages. She said of IVF at the time, quote, I know there's no promises. I know that this is a risk, a gamble. We don't know what's going to happen, but this is the most excited I've been in a very long time.